So what's happening, my beautiful people out there in the fragrance world? Welcome to PR Sense. My name's Jose, and today we're going to be talking about a real, real cheapie that I found at TJ Maxx. Was it TJ Maxx? No, sorry. It was Marshall's. I found it at Marshall's. It was $14.99, and I was pleasantly surprised at, at uh, how decent it was. So if you want to know what it is, which you guys already know what it is, really, um, but if you want to know what I think about it, Stick around and I'll see you in a second. Thanks guys, bye. So guys, what's happening? Um, so today we're gonna be talking about uh, one that I found at Marshalls for $14.99, plus tax obviously. And uh, it's this one. It's called Shield Black Leather Eau de Parfum. Now the reason I found this one was because I was searching uh, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. I, I went on my my rack store hunt this weekend, and I was searching for Ben Sherman's signature fragrance, which is supposed to be based on what Ross said from TLTG, a decent uh, dupe of Ombre Leather by Tom Ford for like nine ninety nine. I couldn't find that one, but I did find this one. And guys, let me tell you. This is not bad. Uh, it's an Eau de Parfum, and it's $14.99, like I said, and it is supposed to be duping Tom Ford's ombre leather. Now, let me tell you, it is, it is not bad. It is very, very close to Tom Ford's ombre leather. Now, you can't find any information about this fragrance online. I mean, it's really, really difficult. So. I found one eBay site that was selling it that they did have the notes. I'm not sure if these are the notes, um, but it says that the top notes are citrus and grapefruit. And I don't, I don't really believe these are the notes, but this is the only thing you'll find if you go searching for it. Base notes are spicy, herbal, woody, and patchouli. And uh, I mean, sorry, heart notes are spicy, herbal, woody, and patchouli. And base notes are vetiver, amber, black leather, and cedar wood. Um, basically, it's it's just a very leathery, woody uh, kind of fragrance. So I get the black leather and the cedar wood. Um, I don't get the grapefruit. I do not get the citrus at all. Um, but Guys, for $14.99, if you want a nice, you know, just instead of spending all, you know, spending your wasting, your your Tom Ford ombre leather because you're going to the supermarket or something like that, grocery store, um, you know, throw this one on. It's it's fine. It does last for a while. I mean, it, it gives me a good three to four hours. Somebody said it gives them eight hours. I, I don't see it, but... You know, guys, for $14.99, a nice ombre leather scent. Um, as it starts to dry down, you know, it's it's it still smells like ombre leather. Obviously, it's not the quality of ombre leather. Ombre leather is a lot smoother, but as far as capturing that DNA, it is extremely, extremely close. I was very surprised because $14.99. I mean, you know, so I was really surprised. So if you see it at Marshall's, you know, pick it up. If you like, you know, ombre leather, or if you want to see what ombre leather smells like, but you don't want to spend that that $160, $200 on ombre leather, because uh, it's it's not cheap. Um, you know, get this one and try it out and see what you think. So that's, that's my review of Shield Black Leather, and it is by a brand called Murata. Um, they make Shield Porom and shield black leather that's all i could find out about it uh, but it again a 14.99 fragrance that mimics ombre leather um pretty pretty close I, i'd say that's a that's a decent one again same thing as ombre leather fall winter i wouldn't wear it in the summer um more male than female i don't see a, a female wearing this at all uh, age groups, I'd say 25 and up. I don't see an 18-year-old or a 17-year-old wearing this, but you guys wear whatever you want. You know, if you like it, you like it. Uh, I'm sorry, George is eating. He chooses to eat every time I'm doing a video or drink water. He just waits. He won't do it while I'm walking around the house. But the second I sit down and I talk to you guys, boom, he goes and starts eating. Drives me crazy. 
Now, I did say I was going to shoot him one time, and one of you, <laughs> one of my subscribers said, please don't shoot him. I'm not going to shoot him. I love him. But he drives me nuts. Anyway, uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please do me a favor. Please hit that like button. Please hit the subscribe, and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video. Share this with your friends. I mean, maybe they want to... You know, a nice ombre leather uh, dupe that they're not going to spend a lot of money on. Again, not a bad one. Um, there's also, what is it? Uh, leather and Amber. I think it's by Mason Alhambra. That's supposed to be pretty pretty decent. Um, there's, there's so many dupes. Now, my favorite, absolute favorite dupe of ombre leather, which kind of falls in between ombre leather and ombre leather perfume, is uh, Rare Carbon by, by uh, Afnan. Um, that is a gorgeous scent. Gorgeous. They add a little raspberry to it, so it's a little sweeter. Um, beautiful, beautiful scent. I would recommend that one wholeheartedly. Um, if you like leather fragrances, but you don't want to spend the ombre leather you know, price tag, Rare Carbon is one that you cannot go wrong with. So look that up if you want. I did do a review on it. If I can I'll, I'll put you know a card up there for rare carbon so you can uh, watch that review but that's a beautiful beautiful scent anyway guys as always you guys make sure that you be safe you be loved and i will talk to you later thanks guys bye